Hi, this is Brian. Today we're back at Adam's Garage and George wants to do a video on restoring his 1944H. So with me today, Adam is with me. After all, it is his garage. And there's George. And George is going to talk to us in a second about the process he went through to restore his 1944H. Stand by. Also with us is Kyla, the shop dog. This is Adam's dog. And Kyla's doing what she does best. She's sitting there looking pretty, trying to get a treat. But she's gotten a lot of... Oh, I said the word. Oh, I said the word. She knows when I say that word to come. Kyla is always looking for a T-R-E-A-T. -E but she's got a lot of them already. So don't let her fool you. She's not starving. Here's George's 1944H as it exists today. George is going to tell you when it was restored. We'll get to that. But it was restored quite some time ago. Tank but it's outside for repair. Hmm? Yeah. We're, we're repairing it now. The tractor is used quite frequently in the neighborhood. It's used for pulling stumps, for pulling bushes. Adam uses it for pulling his trailer. So this, this is still a working tractor. I'll just tell you a little bit about it, and then George will go through his collection of pictures. It has brand new tires on it. I think they're 11 238 four ply Firestones. 1038. 1038? 1038. Original equipment. Original, says George. With the wheel weights and the shop dog. The tractor's in remarkable condition. We have the tank off right now. In fact, Adam just put the stage one of that treatment in. We're working on the bolster shaft. That'll appear in the other videos. We just got the radiator back from the shop a couple weeks ago. And by the way, as I said, it was the radiator replacement that led us to noticing that the bolster had issues. The electrical system's in fantastic shape. The generator works perfectly. Keeps the battery charged so nicely. All of the lights work on both dim and bright. This is still 6 volt. Still positive ground. It's a very nice tractor. I really doubt you find tractors much nicer than this. We've recently done things like repacked all the bearings, changed the fluid in the differential housing. This tractor is in an excellent state of repair. But let's go through, let's get George here now, and let's go through the restoration process that he did. George has pictures of the restoration process, and the best I can do with the technology I have is I just have to take a picture of the picture, but George will talk through all of the pictures. And George, why don't you start out again from when your family got the tractor? Well, we got it as far as I can, I know it's a 44 we got it in the spring of 45 and from then on it was on the home farm it was the main one and only tractor it's back then that's what you had you're lucky you had one right well it it was on the farm until late 60s or early 70s and then it was pulled into the son-in-law's barn for overhaul well, probably 10 years later, it's still waiting for the overhaul to com be completed. As you can see, it's uh, in pretty tough shape. That's the, way, that's the way I brought it to the cities, to my garage. And from then on, I, you know, a few hours this day, a few hours next month. Probably took me a year to put it back together. You know, everything was in coffee cans and milk buckets and paper boxes in the in the barn. I actually, I only had to buy one piece when I got when I was putting it together. What's that? And that was the connector for the rocker arms, the two hour rocker arms, the oiler in the middle. I had to go buy that piece. Oh. And that was amazing. That the, the way the things were, you know, all over in the barn for that long. And this next row of pictures is what it looked like 
in the in the seventies when I got it all put together. So this tractor's been restored for quite some time. Yeah, so it's been restored for a long time, and um, been sitting in my shed in the backyard. The next row of pictures is until, the, until Adam came along as yeah. your neighbor. <laughs> until Adam and his dad came along, and, and then, then it didn't sit in the shed very long after that. And this this row of pictures is the first parade it went in down in southern Minnesota. Mm. It, 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 uh, Dairy Days at Russell, Minnesota. Oh. And that's the, myself and two of my daughters and and, a, and an aunt. It was her husband that had the tractor last. Oh, so, I see. Yeah. So then it, you know, came back to the cities after the parade, put away in the garage, and it sat there for a long time. Took it to, took it to a tractor ride in the spring of 1920. Hmm. And from then on, it's... Uh, 2020. Spring of 2020. 2020, yeah. And it gets uh, used around the neighborhood, like Brian said. And we're going to take and it on a tractor ride next spring, it'll too. Go for, it'll go for another ride next spring. We're going to go to that one in yep. Pine Island. Is that what the name of the town is? Pine Island? Pine, Pine Island, yeah. Yeah, yep. Pine Island. Oh, look, George even has the original... Uh, one of the original service manuals, yeah. even, yeah. for his tractor. And Brian's pretty good, but he get, he's got copies of a lot of stuff. He, he's he's the head head chief <laughs> chief chief engineer, you might be. Well, thank you. The stuff we stuff he's done on it. And well, him and his son, they just it, they have more fun working on it. We sure enjoy it. It's such a beautiful tractor. Yeah. Here's some it sure has come an awful long ways. Yep. It's, oops, that one's portrait mode. But hopefully these pictures show up in yeah, in YouTube. Well, uh, but the tractor certainly has come a long ways. Anybody who knows an H, they'll figure it all out. And as I mentioned, you know it doesn't it's still a beautiful tractor, but it's maybe not quite this shiny anymore. And there's a few areas where the paint has chipped away because the tractor is used. The tractor yep. gets used for pulling stumps. It gets used around the neighborhood for all sorts of things. And, well, it's been 40 years, 50 years since it's been restored. Yeah. And um, you, you'll, but, you'll probably notice that the tires are pretty shiny. That's thanks to my daughter. You can't you can't have tires on anything unless they're sparkling shiny. Yeah, <laughs> that's her thing. <laughs> okay, excellent right. job. Thank you, George. Thank you, Brian. And I do Adam. want to mention one thing too. George hasn't mentioned it, but in the other vi video, George talked about driving the tractor in his high school days, plowing in the fields of southern Minnesota. But then remember that George is U.S. Army, he's a veteran, and after his days in high school, he went and served in the Korean War. So George is a Korean War vet, and George, thank you for your service to our country. I just want to mention that in the video. All right, thank you for taking the video. You're certainly welcome. <coughs> okay, so. Well, this is Brian, thank you for watching my video, and Ed, as always, have fun working on your old tractor. Well, I'll, I have fun watching. I don't mm -hmm. do much work, but I have a lot of fun watching. Well, the Thank you very much. The truth of the matter is when we say work, Adam <laughs> really does 80% of the work anyways. It's really Adam that does the work. Yeah. But thank you. It's a family everybody. project. I put it that way. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Wonderful. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>